Saturday saw the train base in St. Bison host the Hull Pirates for the first time this season. And with Hull seeming to get out of the start faster and getting earlier chances, it looked to be more in their favour. And early on, they looked to apply the pressure before colliding with Metzi as he came out to clear the loose putt. And it'd still be Hull heaping up the pressure, this time missing the net from in close. Eventually though, it would be Hull that would open the scoring as Jonathan Hurt slap shots at home from the point. The herd though would fight back, approaching chances on Smith and the whole net. The first on delayed penalty haul. Unfortunately though for the Bison, Smith would continue to stop everything that was thrown his way. Heaping out chances from the point and in close, frustrating the hosts more and more. And as the period went on, the Stampede didn't seem as if they would or an equaliser. But Liam Ross would carry the putt on the outside of the zone and throw it in on Smith. Hallam would then jump on the loose rebound and reverse it from in close. And as the period went on, Hold continued to steal the show as they pressed the Bison net. Creating multiple chances, the first flying over the goal. The next few attempts required a reaction from Metzi to eat the efforts out. Now going into the second period, Hold come out flying once again, applying the early pressure. But the herd would come back fighting, applying their own pressure behind the visitor's net. <laughs> Hallam would then break into the opposition zone before being taken out by one of the defenders. Right. And from the resulting power play, the host was up the pressure once again as they moved the defending players around looking for an opportunity to take the lead. Eventually, they would do just that as Michael Pleasure receives a pass at Frost at Freeze before snapping one home from in close. <laughs> Hull would fight back though. This time, their effort was blocked before hitting the net. And again, the herd would flip the pressure back before creating opportunities in the man advantage, 
Oberfurt Hessian's shot is this time blocked by a defender. The host will then continue to keep their pressure as they put another pass across the slot before Adam Harding controls it and inverts his effort from in close. But before the period is up, there's enough time for Hull to half the herd's lead as Lee Haywood would pick up a drop pass from Josh Gent in the slot and invert his effort. Again, as the third period start, it would once again be the visitors pushing up the early pressure, getting a shot off and causing Messi to juggle the putt before a defender eventually gets it cleared. The herd would then once again fight back, getting a shot off in the slot. A few of the players believe in their sword and restoring a two goal lead, but the officials didn't see the puck across the line and looking from the reverse angle behind the goal, there's little evidence to support a goal had actually been scored and a face-off is rewarded. The Bison would heap up the pressure as Kleshner this time rings a shot off the post. But now it'll be the Pirates that come back fighting, throwing the putt on the bison net before Metsy knocks it away. And again, as the host looked to score, Smith would come up big, keeping out the shot at the top of the crease. and his play came back the other way. Smith's play would prove vital as the Pirates once again attack the Bison net, this time scoring an equalising goal from a tight angle. And the game became a battle of the two goalies as Hull would fire another shot on Metsy but again, he'd come up big with the saves. And with the visitors turning the putt over on their own blue line, they look to drive it back up the ice. This time, their pass across the slot doesn't quite work, and the herd are able to clean up the remaining mess. And again, Hull would throw the putt on net, but this time, once more, Metsy is able to deal with the shot comfortably. Before, the moment of panic as the putt looked to be dropping over his shoulder, but he's able to bat it away over the top of the net. And for the first time this season, we're heading into overtime, with the scores equal after three periods. But again, with Hull getting the early chances, the herd were able to drive them back out of their zone and get them away. All before creating their own chances at the other end, but are unable to hit the net this time. <laughs> Unfortunately, this would see the Pirates drive the puck back up into the Bison end once more, taking it directly to the goal, beating Metham and sliding the puck into the open net behind him. This would see the visitors steal with the two points and give the hosts their first loss of the season at home. So, first loss 
home this season? How are you feeling? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough one uh, to take. Uh, we've got another one who's at home, obviously. Um, they brought a short team and we should be, we should be taking two points on tonight. So are there any sort of specific areas you're looking to improve on? Um, I mean, we just need to, we just need a bit of down um, in our own zone. Um, we just need to be, you know, solid defensively, and, and we need to start putting the puck in there. Cliche, but yeah. there are a few opportunities tonight that are still very missing. So forward. Yeah, I mean, we had a few. Well, we had a five on three, that we probably should have scored on. We pulled two minutes on the five on three. Um, yeah, we had a few other chances. Um, yeah, we, we do need to be more clinical in, our, uh, in front of the net. net. And in front of ours, I think. Oh, so um, Ty scored against the team that you probably expected to lose against at the start of the season, at least. So, uh, I personally don't think so. I think we, uh, I think, I think we should have, we should have given that team a good run for the money tonight, especially with how short they were. Uh, they only played two lines most of the night. Um, I think personally that you know we kind of didn't, didn't show up. Um, didn't play for 60 minutes, and that's what killed us in the end. I think. Well, we're looking ahead then to next weekend when you're back from Thailand. Home ice against Swindon. So, what are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I mean, we've got a big game tomorrow to worry about first. So, yeah, so uh, it's a big rival game against Bradnell. Uh, we'll go in there, take two points, and then we'll worry about Swindon next week. Yeah.